In this video I'm going to run you through the entire process of submitting your journal assignment uh, into Moodle. Okay, so I'm in a module in Moodle right here. I'm on the assessments page and I'm just going to scroll down and you'll see a description for the reflective journal. Okay, and there's a link straight to your ePortfolio there which we'll click on in a minute. Uh, but you'll also see that uh, there are some instructions. So it says that you need to add the tag mLearning for this module um, to all of your journal entries. And that's so that you can uh, find it later and add it to a page which you're going to submit right here. And that's the submission uh, drop box where you'll have to put the link to your journal. Okay, so let's go to our ePortfolio. And I'm going to log in. My journal is under content and journals. Now I'm just going to do a new entry under my default journal. So I'll click on new entry. I'll just make this a test one. So now tags are really important. Now remember. Um, I was given a tag to add in for this particular one, so I've added that in there. As you start creating tags, you'll see them under your tag list. So you can just go through and click those and add the appropriate tags to your journal entries. If you wanted to, you could add a file to your journal entry. It might be a, a document, like a PDF. It could be a picture that you want to add into your journal entry. When you're ready to publish it, you can just click Save Entry. If you haven't quite finished, you can save it as a draft. Save the entry. Right, next step. I need to add my mLearning uh, tagged entries to a portfolio page, a new page. To do that, click on Portfolio, Pages. Create Page. I'm going to call it in learning reflective journal for my assignment and just add in the same tag again and click save. Now you'll see a an option here for journal so I'm going to click on that and I'm going to drag and drop tagged journal entries onto this page. You see a little grayed area come up and a little box. I'm going to drag and drop it into that space. A little dialog comes up and it says, which tag journal entries do you want? So I'm going to go and choose M Learning. And there it is. How many on each page? Uh, one to a hundred is how many you can put in. I'm going to show my entries in full make it retractable, just makes it easier to read, and then click Save. Okay, and there are my mLearning entries. Oh, looks a little bit squashed, so I'm just going to edit the layout and change it to one column. Select that, click Save, and there they are. Now, if you want to add uh, new entries directly from this page, you can do that. You just select the journal that you want and click go and it takes you back to your uh, uh, your journals. Now we're ready to save. The next step is to go to Portfolio Shared by Me. And I need to find the page that I want to share. So there it is, M Learning Reflective Journal. And you'll see under secret URLs, a lock on the side. I'm going to click on that lock, click add. It has now created a secret URL or a link that you can give to people to give them access to your journal. And only people with that link uh, will be able to um, access it. Now, what do you do with that link? Right, I'm just going to close that window. I've gone back to Moodle 
and here's the reflective journal assignment. I'm going to uh, click on submit and you'll see add submission. All you have to do here is paste that address in there and click save. And that's it. All done.